Hey, I'm Tom. And I'm Mike. And we're from Take Time to Travel. Today, we're going to take a tour around Victoria's Harbor, and we're going to do that in a harbor ferry taxi boat, which are kind of these cute little boats, and you'll get to see that. So come on along with us. Just after we turned the corner, we saw some of Victoria's local wildlife. We spotted this seal eating fish. And then a few seconds later, we saw this raccoon on the dock. I love how you're able to see all this wildlife here. Let's keep heading toward the Victoria Harbour Ferry. It's just a short and pretty walk from here along Victoria's Harbour. On the way, we pass the Victoria Harbour Airport. It's Canada's busiest seaplane airport. You can see one of the planes tied up there. But we're going to explore the harbour by boat today. So let's head over to the ferry boat stop in front of the Fairmont Empress Hotel. I don't think you could ever get tired of looking at this beautiful view. There's the ferry stop that we're heading to on the dock just across the water. Here's one of those cute little ferry taxis now. Let's head down to get our tickets. The Inner Harbour Combo Tour costs $30 for adults, $28 for seniors and students, and $15 for children. If you just want to take a quick one-zone taxi ride across the harbour, it's $7.50 for adults and $5 for kids. Additional zones or further trips cost more depending on how many zones you are travelling. Here's a map of all the different water taxi stops you can go to. After enjoying this spectacular harbour view for a little bit, we noticed our harbour ferry taxi boat arriving. They look so cool. It's time for us to hop on board. Check out the giant steering wheel and the wood paneling. This is going to be fun. Here we go for our first boat ride since being in Victoria. The Harbour Ferry taxis also come in green. What a perfect day for this. We started the tour in Victoria's Inner Harbour. The tour guide mentioned that the buildings in the background were part of Victoria's old town and were some of the oldest in Victoria. Then we made our way under the Johnson Street Bridge towards the Upper Harbour. In the background you can see where they have a bunch of the Harbour Ferry taxis stored and those two tall ships. As we kept going we saw some people rowing boats as well as kayaking. This part of the harbour is more industrial. There is the Point Hope Shipyard. This area is called the Rail Yards. Canadian National Railway used to be here before the housing development was built. After we went a little further, we turned around. You can see the old Selkirk Trestle Bridge over the water. Then we went back under the Johnson Street Bridge. It's pretty cool how a bridge this size can lift all the way up. Back in the inner harbour, on our way to the middle harbour, we pass by the Delta Hotel, the Inn at Laurel Point, and those buildings over there are some nice condos. 
This part of the harbor is used as an active runway for the seaplanes. It's called Runway Alpha. We also pass some more ferry boats. From here, you can see the Canadian Coast Guard. And way in the distance, 42 kilometers as per our tour guide, are the Olympic Mountains in Washington. You can just see some of the snow-capped peaks from here. We turned around here and started to make our way back towards Fisherman's Wharf. On the far right side, there are the commercial fishing vessels. In the middle are the pleasure boats. And on the left side, there are 28 beautiful float homes. This is a pretty cool looking whale watching boat, the Everwild. Our tour guide mentioned that these float homes are stationary and that the only way most of them ever move is with a tugboat. They are, however, hooked up to electricity, sewage, and everything else that a regular home would have. They just have to pay the monthly moorage fee to stay there, which includes the sewage and water. The tour guide also mentioned that all of these float homes are owned outright. I guess that's probably because you can't get a traditional mortgage on these places. It would be so nice to live in one of these beautiful float homes right on the water with a boat tied up at your back door. Now you can choose to get off here at Fisherman's Wharf or head back to the Fairmont Empress Stop. We chose to head on back to the Empress. Check out this boat here with three 300 horsepower outboard motors for whale watching. Looks like fun. As the 45 minute harbor ferry combo tour came to an end, we wanted to keep enjoying the nice weather and the beautiful harbor views. So we decided to grab a nice cold beer and something to eat. Just after we stepped off the Harbor Ferry taxi boat, we noticed an otter swimming right there beside us. Goodbye, little guy. Now, it's time for us to grab a beer and some food with a view. Let's give Milestones a try. We grabbed a spot on the patio and got this table with this phenomenal view. A cold beer and a nice day with good company, that's pretty hard to beat. I got the 8 ounce steak sandwich with a side Caesar salad and Tom got the rustic chicken club with brie and candied bacon on a cranberry pumpkin seed bun. Everything tasted great, even the fries. I'm sure you'll agree, this is some pretty spectacular scenery. Well, that was fun, wasn't it? Yeah, it definitely was. We had amazing weather for a nice harbor tour and the food was great too. It was. If you're traveling to Victoria, make sure to check out the Harbor Ferry Tour. It's a great and a unique way to see the city and learn about some of its history. We really enjoyed making today's video and I hope you enjoyed watching it too. If you did, we'd really appreciate it if you would like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications on our future videos. 
It really helps out with the YouTube algorithm and it helps our small channel to grow. And remember, take time to travel. Catch you on the next one. You heard him.